he finds it hard that I've obviously squirted, you know, with another guy looking up my work and everything. But when it's me and him, he can't seem to make me squirt. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie. Hello. Nice to meet How's you, Charlie. Going? So what do you do? I make like fetish videos and things like that. Ah, oh, so you make the videos? Yeah. Okay. So what can I do for you today? This guy I'm with now is mm. probably the most uh, well-endowed guy I've ever been with. Okay. It's just like a bit like too big. Yeah. And like sometimes in certain positions it can like hurt a bit too much. Yeah. So do you have any tips for me to make it more doable? Boy, I don't think there is a more doable situation. I would say to tell him to calm down, but that's not really fun, is it? I mean, like, a bit bigger is better than a bit smaller, right? Well, obviously, that is the thing, you get me, but... But, like, the sex is really good yeah. like, all the time, but especially for, like, blowjobs and stuff, mm. like, he really likes being deep-throated, but I'm a porn performer who's never been that good at deep-throating. Do you have any tips on how to like cram it all in my mouth? Boy, <laughs> see, it's just not doable. I and you're even... not well versed in the, the deep throating world. No. You see some people doing it and like they can fit like meters and meters. Yeah, some people can do it, but, but if I, they can just what... naturally do it, they're going to have to practice with some sort of tools. A cucumber. Boy, maybe that might be not big enough. Maybe you need something a bit bigger, a bit wider. Because maybe it's not the length that's the problem. It's the, the girth. There we go. So cucumber is slender. Fat cucumber. So you need something like a butter squash. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can get that done, then you're alive. I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Cucumber is slender. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Luna Toxic. Luna, nice to meet you. Nice so to meet you. So what do you do? I'm a porn actress and I'm also a dominatrix. Okay, so mm. you do dominatrix, yeah? Mm -hmm. So how can I help you today? Well, um, I'm single and um, how do I find someone who's okay with my job? And how do I maintain that relationship? Definitely gonna need a certain type of guy. I like my black boys, you know? Yeah. Mm. I think it's just a certain type of guy you need. Someone that is kind of like a business type of guy. Mm -hmm. Like if he was doing music, for instance, and you was in the studio, you might say, yeah, do this, do that. Mm -hmm. Just as a other half, or just care about yeah. his business. So. Yeah. For him to care what you do, he kind of needs to see the professional side. Mm -hmm. Would you do open relationships? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm all about, you know. I mean, in the end, I think that's the only way it kind of works, you know. Yeah, I think open relationship would definitely help. Do you have a separate profile? In your profile, do you say what you do? Yeah, of course. Well, on the internet, ob yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. maybe that is work. So work should be separate from yeah. you. What you want from someone is someone separate from work. Yeah. What they want is they want you. The more they can see you, the more they can understand what you do. So let them get into your life a bit, get to know them. And then when you get to a point, you see. That's a really good advice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> is there anything else you want to ask? Mm, are you single? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> a certain type of guy. Hello, Hello. you're right. Hello, what's your name? <laughs> I'm Jasmine. Hi, nice to meet you, Jasmine. Nice to meet My you. name is D Double. Mm. <laughs> and what do you do? I've worked in the adult industry for yeah. the past six years, on and off. Okay. Yeah. So, how can I help you today? Um, I was seeing a guy, mm. and he finds it hard that. I've obviously squirted, you know, with another guy looking up my work and everything, but when it's me and him, mm. he can't seem to make me squirt. 
what can you do? It's not your fault, really. No, um, there, there must be, you know, like, in a certain position, yeah, certain yeah, thing happening. Yeah, I've tried to do all different positions and, and everything. Just still yeah, not just happening. not happening. And sometimes, you know, what, when you're thinking about things, it this is yeah. when it doesn't happen. Yeah. I think there's too much thought about it. If he didn't care about the squirting, mm -hmm. things would be cool. I guess some guys, they love it, don't they? They just expect most girls to just squirt. And some girls can just do it. Yeah, yeah. I guess that not everyone can do it, though. It's one of them things you just got to work together and he's got to just forget about that. The main thing is how you feel. Why do you think you can't achieve the... Um, psh, psh, psh. I guess... <laughs> 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 yeah. um, I think, like you said, it is to do with what, what's in, in your head. You're, you're overthinking. Yeah. I need to relax my mind a little bit more. Yeah, um, yeah. the thinking yeah. process is building the block. Some people might need you to just hold hair, hold hair, or... Yeah, just... some, I like being touched and all that I do. Well, yeah, there's definitely techniques. Yeah. <laughs> Some girls can just do it. Hello. Hi. And what's your name? I'm Misha. Misha, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name's D W E. What do you do? I do porn and I escort. Okay. What sort of porn do you specialise in? I do a lot of kinky stuff. Kinky yeah. stuff. Okay. So, what's your problem today? My problem is that I find that when I like, try to sleep with men or hook up or start a new relationship, they can mm. be quite sexually intimidated by me because of my work. And I don't know how to get past that. You kind of can't get a good fuck, you know? Boy, I think, yeah, they're getting shy. I can't explain why. I mean, it's that time to max out, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. I think it must be the type of guys you're going for. Maybe. I do like nerdy um, kind of guys. Maybe I need to. Yeah, well, that could be the problem. There's a lot of real men out there, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I just can't understand. Would you be intimidated? Would you sleep with a porn star and not perform? I mean, I, I wouldn't be intimidated. Definitely not. Definitely not. Do you think that I should put on my Tinder profile that I do porn? I think if you don't say that, it might help. Yeah? Yeah. When do you bring it up then? When's the right time? I think you should bring it up pretty soon, but... I don't think it should be the first thing you say before you slept with them, I but slept. at the moment. Oh, yes. I wouldn't promote what you do is private. Yeah. So it's for work. Separate it and you'll find some more clean thinking people that are not taking on board all what you're showing them. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. I wouldn't be intimidated. Three points that come up today. Don't judge a book by its cover. Get to know the person. And nobody wants to date your business. They want to date the person. It's D Double. You've just been watching The Love Therapist. It's been a great night. Till next time. Bloco, bloco.